I'm going to go and get you some pilchards. How, how's about that? Do you want pilchards? Coley? Pilchards? <laughs> yeah, okay. Is that a yes? <laughs> okay. Look at those claws. Yo. No, no, no. Coley? Special animal, this. Cole's now giving us a display of his cuteness. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, today, we are going to be doing a new installment of the Meet the Character series. And uh, yeah, I, I think you can guess what animals I'm going to be covering. Yes, it's the black leopards. And uh, this is really because um, in the last episode of Meet the Characters, we asked you guys to comment who you would like to see next. And overwhelmingly so, Cole and Nikita came up. One of the favorite treats of the Kola Nikita are uh, hard boiled eggs and uh, pilchards. So I'll be giving them both of those today. Just peeling the eggs make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> Everyone's very vocal. They know something's going on. Um, you will notice that the black leopards enclosure is slightly different to the other animals um, it has a higher fence and it has a different overhang that's because leopards are so agile uh, six foot is nothing for a leopard to jump over so these fences are three meters high uh, with a one meter 90 degree overhang not that Kola Nikita are interested in trying to jump out because they elderly but obviously when when they're younger when they were younger um, you know they're a lot more agile and so yeah you can't you can't take any chances uh, fortunately we've never had either of them test fences they've been quite content um, to to be in in their habitat and they have a spectacular habitat I mean the the, the black leopards enclosures were chosen specifically because of the the beautiful uh, shrubbery the bushes uh, the thick bush and obviously the nice trees. So the leopards have the best enclosures in my opinion. Uh -uh. Relax nicely. What she does like is for me to hold it in my hand so that um, her dearest old teeth don't get worn down by the grit. Beautiful animal and so gentle. I don't think I'd even hold an egg like this in my hand from my dog. There we go. One whole egg for Nikita. Let me just give you the last bit. There we go. Suck that in. Yum, yum. Look at that face. Something Nikita loves to do is lick your skin. And she's always liked doing that ever since a little cub. What's that, what that's really about is the salt that's on your skin. So she actually likes that saltiness and uh, she'll lick your legs and she'll lick your hands. So, um, yeah, that's something Nikita's always done. Cole, not so much. Cole, he hasn't even come up to say hello. Um, while well, the lions are going nuts. Ooh, they, they're wanting to know where's their eggs. Because this group here next door loves eggs. Um, Nikita is, as I've said, a, a very special personality. She only weighs about 30 kilos at the moment because she is a granny. And 30 kilos... At her max, she was about 35 kilos. Um, so when she was younger, she definitely had a lot more muscle mass. <laughs> She's been all cute. She wants to get my fluffy on top of my camera. So Kitty's in really good health. Um, She's had a few health issues over her two decades but that's to be expected I mean who hasn't been sick over the last past 20 years we we've all had some illnesses uh, she's had two uh, illnesses that have really
got me worried. The one was a mild stroke. We have no idea why she had it. It was a couple of years back and uh, she seems to, well, she seemed to recover fully from that. And that was great because, you know, we, I actually was terrified that that was the last time I was going to see Nikita. And then the last time was a issue with meat that both Cole and uh, Nikita had eaten. You know, this is, this is the thing about meat supply, guys, is it's so, so difficult. Um, and especially when the animals get older, you've got to be very, very careful about what meat you give them. And it just takes one uh, bad batch of meat. And in the case of Cole and Nikita, it was, um, it, it seemed as though a carcass we got had been dewormed. So the carcass had been given a, a dewormer, injectable dewormer, and they seemed to have got that piece and that was extremely toxic to them. Look at that cute little behavior. And so once they ate that meat, they basically were poisoned. And uh, that was that. They went down like a ton of bricks literally comatose so when Nikita and Cole were poisoned that was uh, yeah one of the worst moments of my my career uh, had to bring both Cole and Nikita to uh, Dr. Coldwell's surgery they spent a couple of days there just really getting fluids um, eating charcoal to try and absorb it uh, trying to get them to throw up what they had eaten and it was very very quick guys it, it, it happened so quickly they were fed on the day and and literally by that that afternoon when I came to see them they were both flat 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 and uh, that's how quickly it can happen so especially the older animals we really need to be careful about what they what what they get fed their diets are super super important and here comes Cole he knows we're speaking about him Cole wants to know where his eggs are. I'm probably going to have to go outside and get <laughs> uh, Nikita spits at him. Can be a right old cow when she wants to be. <laughs> we'll go and spend some time with Cole just now. Let's uh, finish up with Nikita. And what I, what I was actually saying <laughs> is Nikita can be the right old cow when she wants to be. Uh, like like today, <laughs> when I came in here, yeah, she was so excited to see me. Uh, she kind of jumped on my arm and tore my shirt. Um, so, yeah, she still she still can pack a punch. <laughs> Kitty, <laughs> behave yourself, my darling. Special animal, this. Special, special girl. So there's my top. I don't know if you can see the hole. Uh, thanks for destroying my, my top. <laughs> Cole, Cole's now giving us a display of his cuteness. He's saying anything Nikita can do, I can do too, Kev. I'm just as cute. You know that. He's caught sight of the fluffy on top of the camera. And uh, that, guys, is irresistible for a black leopard. Cole weighs about, well, he used to weigh about 60 kilos, 60, 65 in his prime. And now he weighs about 55. Look at those claws. Yo, Coley. Yeah, I'll give you um, egg now. <laughs> and that is typical cold behavior, what he's just done there. Curly, when he can't get his own way, what does he do? Hey, Cole, what do we do when we don't get our own way? That's exactly what we do. We hiss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. Okay, I'm g just gone out to get Cole his egg. Um, I see she's seen what I'm up to and she's gonna try and she's gonna try and pull her Nikita moves. 
I'm going to put his egg over here where it's a little bit easier for him to eat. Um, come boy. Not you, greedy guts. Okay, I'm just going to get off a break off a piece of egg. Yeah, yeah, Nikita. Yeah. Call, call. distinctive tip white tip on his tail that's a distinctive coal trait um, <laughs> Kylie you're so funny he wants more food so <laughs> Kyle, Kyle is a typical leopard um, he is all about himself <laughs> Oh, Nikita, you know this is not about you. Now it's about coal. So you're getting grumpy. <laughs> coal is a typical uh, leopard. Typical male leopard. In the sense that it's all about him. It's what he can get out of the situation. And that hasn't changed I'm afraid, since he was a little cub. Always about him. He's very, he's very different to Duke and Khan, uh, who are not as selfish, still leopard-like in their selfishness, but not as selfish. You've got you to love that about Cole. Um, he hasn't changed in, in, in two decades, stayed the same. And basically, Cole will come up to you when he wants some love, uh, hit chin scratch, uh, something annoying him, he wants you to get rid of, he'll come up and ask you to, to help him out there. <laughs> and then after that, he's not really interested in, in having you around, so he will typically go and uh, disappear into the bush. He will, he will basically lie down in close proximity. Probably going to do that now. Just covered by the bushes there, by the tree. Yep, there you go. Lies down. Reason for it is he believes that maybe he can get something more from me. So he doesn't want to move too far away in case uh, I spoil Miss Nikita over here. <laughs> so if I'm spoiling her, uh, then he wants to make sure that he's not missing out. So it's a very interesting, typical, typical, typical leopard behavior. Uh, what is in it for me? Um, so yeah, Cole, Love him to bits. He's been consistent. And that is something that you need to be thankful for when you're working with a leopard. Because leopards uh, can be extremely tricky. Extremely tricky. And time and time again, there's been uh, reports of leopards uh, turning on, on the people who look after them. Uh, because it's nothing personal. It's just, you know, you got in my way or there was something that was irritating me or just something intriguing. Um, and that, that is a, a male leopard. Nikita doesn't really fit the mold of a, of a typical leopard. Um, there's leopard-like qualities, but she's, she's definitely, um, she breaks out of that typical leopard mold. Uh, her characteristics um, on, 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 are just more gentle and more, and she's nicer. <laughs> the camera, yeah. The camera is not for you to... No, 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 no. Cole? No. It's a camera. So put the camera down. 
And immediately he thinks, oh, there's something there for him to eat. Now he realizes that there's nothing there for him to eat, so he goes away to lie down, to wait. <laughs> now he's going to wait to see um, when I bring out the pilchards. I'm going to go and get you some pilchards. How, how's about that? Do you want pilchards? Coley? Pilchards? <coughs> yeah, okay. Is that a yes? <laughs> okay. Okay, so a lot of people want to know why pilchards. The reason why is that it's a, a great snack for them. It's a beautiful source of omega-3s. <laughs> <laughs> and they really, they really do love it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Glad you did. If you did, uh, please do comment as always. Uh, tell us what you liked. Tell us who you want to see next in Meet the Characters. I love making these videos about the, the characters because I do get to uh, tell you little things about the animals that you probably didn't know. Okay, so all that's left to say from me, Kevin, until next time. Ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>